In this tutorial, we're going to create this kind of lava path. You can see it's going with a more complex blending between, especially you can kind of see almost cracking land. It's where the lava coming. Um, we could add lava afterwards, but we'll leave it for now. And also you can see um, some materials distribution and other things. But overall, we'll be focusing inside the world machine, how we can create a specific path a layout with additional material, uh, additional texturing kind of, or um, displacements following this, and how we can combine all of this in creating more complex terrain. Okay, if you watch previous tutorials about some labyrinth and mount, we use some combinations. Very simple tutorial, but it's give it an interesting perspective that we can go and create more. So what about if we take some of those ideas of the labyrinth, enhance them and creating more as a lava path, you know, when lava go through terrain and kind of breaking ground. So let's see if we can do this. Um, one things will begin. And again, um, sometimes when I started, I start with one node at another play around and mostly already done before tutorial. So whatever I'm doing right here, it's not necessarily the way I'm starting, but it's help us flow and see how it's going. Yeah, so we'll go start with uh, generator and Warren and I um, will use it so it will create for us some of those cracking in the ground if that will be basic. So we'll go ahead, open for edit and as the scale, let's go take it scale down to maybe some 800 meters around there. Okay, and most important, we change style. So we'll go to F1 cell. You can see it's all a little cracking. And let's go to alternative two and we'll leave it everything as default. And right now, if you just look on this, this already look kind of cool. And just imagine we can use those ones as cracks between them. Okay, so next is kind of, I want to find uh, what between those lines. And um, nice things about we have a special node that's select connector. So let's go ahead and connect this and you can preview what we already have it. Look, it's kind of nice. It's given us all of those lines, connections with special additional information that we can go and reuse it. Okay, I'm going to open and right here we'll just leave a string and everything as default for now. So we'll process next. So next what I want to do, it is some isolating to remove some grayish, give it a little bit more contrast for me so I can reuse in the future. And we'll go inside the filters. We'll go to use the clamp for this. And again, in some cases you can do in not specifically, except with this way, give it you some flexibility that you may adjust in the future a little bit more as you're going along with this. And okay, we'll go open claim and right there we'll go expand. Okay. And we'll go bring this part all the way up around there. And you can see how well already cut, we have only those connecting lines. This is crux, it's what I needed. Okay, after this, I want a little bit uh, blur them because I don't want very sharp, I want them a little bit soft on the edges. So we'll go same, we'll go add blur to this case. Okay, right here, let's deselect it. And we'll go connect them. And on a blur, we'll just go and type in maybe two. So I don't want too much, but we can play after a round and see which one will work better what size. Okay, right now this work very well for us. And um, next, let's go just, you know what, we can add this to um, advanced Perlin in this case. So we'll go to generate, create right there. Okay, I know we will change this, but for now let's go just look on this what we have so far okay right there we'll just you know let's actually make flutter so we'll make this flutter let's go to rigid as well take this one down this is give it somewhat effect and you can notice it's happening there on the bottom so not on the top where i want it which is okay we'll um We'll look in a second and we'll take step and it's done. Okay. So it does not necessarily look like I want it. So I want to actually invert on that one. So we'll go to filter, invert, and we'll invert what we have right there. 
So if we preview, you can see we have nice cracks on a land that we can use it now in combining with other terrain. So for this, let's go just create another terrain. And we can do this with creating advanced pearl on this. But before we apply this, you know what, let's go to um, our layout right here. And what I want to do, I want to create actually, well, let's go bigger, maybe right there. I actually want to create a little bit larger size and maybe add path for the lava which will go through that area. So, okay, we'll go to set current. And you know what, let's set about, maybe around this size. Next one should be enough, big enough. Okay, next we'll go to um, create a new layout. Okay, so let's go click on new layout. And from this point, I'm just going to have it line. I'm just going to create right there. Okay, now when it's created, we can go and enable a breakout. This, I think this is about right. Maybe add roughness. We'll see on this one. Okay, also let's go just open. Oops. Double down click. So we go to properties here. And I want this decrease. Maybe about one kilometer. Should be around this area. We also will create slightly in. And you can play with some of the settings. But again, this is just help us to um, kind of create interesting effect. But I think this lava flow will work well for this. Let's go back. And so we'll use it this layout now to um, work with the, our path. So let's create from this one. It's kind of going top. So I want invert. Go right here and add it invert. So now we have a path for our things. So let's go ahead and next portion of the tutorials. We'll kind of start combining them together.